Welcome. Um, welcome to another video about uh, my shoe collection. My name is Robert. I'm from Massachusetts. And um, today we're going to talk about uh, Capto Oxfords and a new pair of Capto's Oxfords that I have from Vass here that I haven't opened before. I haven't looked at. Um, first, a little bit about the shoes that they are replacing. So uh, these are Capto Oxfords from Allen Edmonds, Bond Street. Um, I won't spend too much time on this, but six years ago, I purchased these. Um, I didn't know much about shoes. I, I knew uh, that Allen Edmonds were uh, a good uh, choice for a pair of Capto Oxfords. I had an interview coming up uh, for a CTO at a nonprofit. And I, I had, I knew how to wear a suit. I had to, you know, dress well. I ended up getting an Armani suit at, uh, you know, one of one of the department stores, and uh, you know, Neiman Marcus or something. And I, I went in that same mall, uh, the Natick Mall outside of Boston. I, I went to Alamandaman store. I was gonna get a pair of Park Abs. My research has said that I should get Park Abs. And the store clerk at Allen Edmonds somehow convinced me to get Bond Streets. He said they would be more comfortable. <laughs> I didn't know anything about shoes. And so I went with these and, um, you know, I'll tell you, uh, they, they've been serviceable, obviously. I think many of you know Allen Edmonds. Um, haven't had a resole on them. I've worn them to many weddings. You know, they're easy to care for. Um, had I've never really been able to get a mirror shot on the shoes, though, I'll tell you. Um, especially now because it's creased all inside the cap on, on one of the shoes. And, um, you know, compared to some other shoes I have now, which I can easily get a mirror shine on sometimes in just five minutes if the leather is really high quality. And then these, uh, you know, even if I do achieve a really great shine, I feel like it they, it doesn't stay on the leather very long. Um, and I like shining my shoes. Um, also, I don't really care for the the last as much, you know, now that I know more about shoes and they're just getting worn out. I think they look worn out. So I think it's, it's I'm time to upgrade. Um, for a long time, I was of the opinion, you know, I think, on uh, Ask Andy about clothes on the forum one time, a poster there uh, said that, you know, for cap toes, I just go to Allen Edmonds. I go kind of just the base route. And then for the shoes that I, that I spend out at night with, you know, I go out to dinner with, I spend my dollars on and, and I have, you know, Aldens, I have European shoes, um, maybe a pair of Carminas. And I really subscribed to that at first. So it's been a long time since I've considered replacing my Captos. Um, you know, and I, I, my, my boots from, you know, from Alden and my evening, you know, kind of shoes that I like to wear. Like I went and I, and I got some nice shoes for those first. And, but now I think it's time, you know, um, to replace these as well. And I do find myself wanting to wear cap to Oxfords at work now, um, you know, which is wonderful post pandemic. I'm having, you know, at least in my, I'm in banking and there's, you know, we have off sites with other folks, other managers that I work with, people are wearing cap to Oxfords. And so I want to wear them too. You know, it's a really great chance um, to wear, you know, a nice pair of shoes like this. So, you know, I think they're, so already some other uh, videos on YouTube about this precise pair from Bass. This is the F Last. This is their Capto Oxford on the F Last. No modifications, no toe plate, just calf skin, just directly from their website. Um, and I literally got these about four days after ordering, like very quickly, within about three or four days. Um, they uh i got the notice from fedex that they were on the way so you know you can get your feet pretty quick from that you know i'm i i know that it's vosh you know that i'm but i and i apologize 
for uh, anyone from Europe listening to this. I'm not pronouncing the shoe brand appropriately. It's it's Vosh, but uh, I'm going to slip up and say Vass. So I apologize ahead of time. So obviously they have his wonderful shoe bags, very soft, which is important. I travel with shoes and having shoe bags that preserve a shine is really nice. Um, so I've never, I've never seen this last in person. So this is the first time I'm looking at it. It's very, it is very elegant. I would say it looks better in person than it does on videos and in photos. So that's something that I would definitely say. So if you're looking at a pair of bass shoes with the F last, my first impression is, you know, I made a great choice. It is a very elegant round last. You know, in person, it looks kind of, uh, you know, sleek. Uh, so I was worried it was going to be kind of bulbous. And, you know, I I do want a modern looking, um, you know, round last for my cap toes. You know, I was considering even you know, going with TLB Mallorca and doing something like maybe even Picasso Van Gogh. Uh, but, you know, I said, no, I mean, I, I'm just too conservative. I, I'm going to have to go with a, with a round last for a pair of cap toes. Um, so the, I think this is just uh, unbeatable, right? Because this is a hand welted shoe. It was made by hand. Um and, you know, at this price point, I think, you know, especially right now, the exchange rate between the U.S. and the euro is really great. It's almost like one euro per dollar. So for four hundred dollars, you know, basically the price of a new Allen Edmonds, you get a hand welted shoe. Um, you know, just, you know, just gorgeous. Look, let's look at the, the heel. Right. Very tight heel you know, the sign of a quality shoe, a very slight, I I think. Yeah, it's not 100% square either. That's beautiful. That's exactly what I love is there's a slight curve, you know, to the heel block. Um, very elegant. Um, you know, I hear, I can't wait to, you know, shine these up. I hear the leather is really high quality. I think uh, they use, uh, you know, one of the fam most famous tanneries in the world, Vast, and their, their leather is top notch. Closed channels, channel stitching. This is the first pair of shoes, uh, that I have ever owned have closed channel, uh, channel stitching. So yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You know, I think many of you have seen this. The nail, the nail work is very, very beautiful. There's this curve here. You know, I noticed this beautiful curve here, the bottom of the heel. I like that detail. So, um, and last is shoe trees. Uh, let's see if I can get one of these out of here. But uh, this is also the first shoe in my collection that has a pair of lasted shoe trees. So um, dollar for dollar, you cannot get a pair of shoes this high quality caliber. Uh, I don't think anywhere else. There's no one else, you know, making hand lasted shoes um, in, in a ready to order format or even MTO, you're looking at $1,500, you know, at some of the Japanese hand welted shoes you could, you know, you could get something from China. Uh, and I, you know, I've, I've looked at that, uh, but, uh, you know, I just think this is a step above. So yeah, I've never had uh, a pair of truly lasted shoe trees, uh, you know, not cedar. So this is, I, I don't know what kind of wood this is, something else. But, you know, unbelievable.
So inside, you know, on on the Aldens that I have, the the le there's a piece of leather here that stops midsole. So this this uh, you know leather insole covers the whole inside of the shoe. I think that's a very that's actually a sign of a very high quality shoe. Um, very very soft leather inside. You know, I don't consider myself a shoe expert. Just a, just a big fan. Uh, you know, I, I love high quality shoes and um, very, very happy with my choice. I mean, these, you know, I think there's, there's no comparison between these, right? I mean, certainly there's no shame in wearing a pair of Allen Edmonds, um, but this is just a class above in itself. Uh, several classes above, you know. Yeah, very happy with my purchase. All right, well, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I think, you know, I think just the one thing I'll say is uh, if you're considering this, the shoe brand or if you haven't heard of Vass, take a look at their catalog. Um, They've got just unbelievable shoes, just unbelievable. I don't really, you know, this is really the the one last, the, the only thing I'll say about, you know, Bass that, that I, I wish was different about this brand is their last selection. So they have, you know, this, which is a what I would consider a modern round last. And some other people, you know, um, I'm embarrassed to say I don't remember, the names of some of these other famous YouTubers, but you know, uh, this is for some people consider their favorite round last uh, from the shoemaker. I can see why. Um, there's, there's, there's just the proportions are just really amazing. Um, yeah, there's just a there is a sleekness to it. Um, and so for me, that's that's the balance that I love is like a, a balance between class, something classic. Uh, I don't like aggressive last. And so the thing is, I feel like with the other last for Vass, you're on one side of the spectrum or the other. You're very aggressive Italian because there's the K last um, and the U last. And... Um, from what I've read in person, particularly, they look a little ridiculous because they're very pointy. And, you know, I have this issue with Jay Fitz, Fitz, Fitzpatrick shoes. Um, probably the only thing I would consider in his, he has a lot of last now, is, is just his round last because everything else is super pointy and, you know, uh, too chiseled for me. Um, and I feel like, you know, Vass has these modern lasts um with the f included but the k and the u are just they're just they're just too aggressive just you know i, I would feel ridiculous <laughs> wearing those shoes and then the other options the traditional uh budapest lasts that they have are are then just way too conservative they're you know way too old school for me um where they're they are bulbous and they are you know just not 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 quite my thing either. I, I don't want to wear a uh, a gunboat shoe, you know. So um, that's my only thing. I wish that they had something, uh, you know, like the TLB Van Gogh or the TLB uh, Picasso lasts. Those are some of my favorite lasts. So um, or or like the Allen Edmonds. Probably my favorite last of all time is, is the Ellen Emmons Plaza, which is a soft square last, just a hint of that square. As soon as it turns too square for me, I just feel like people are going to mistake it for cheap Italian shoes, you know, <laughs> like really cheap Italian, like, you know, uh, Aldo shoes, <laughs> you know. So, I don't know, pers just, just kind of talking a little bit about my own preferences, because if if uh, if Vass had like maybe one other last that I really liked, 
I would just get all my shoes from Bass. Why would I go anywhere else other than hand, welt hand welted? I mean, for now, where I am in my shoe collection, because I'm, I feel like I'm, the price range that I look at is, uh, you know, around I, five, six hundred dollars. You know, a pair of Al new Aldens, even seven hundred dollars. We're quite not typically still not at the place where you could get a hand welted shoe. You know, even a ready to wear hand welted shoe. Um, there's a guy in New York City. Uh, I, I'm, you know, embarrassed to say it. I don't remember his name off the top, but you know, you can get a wonderful hand welted shoe. Um, you know, where you're looking fifteen hundred dollars, and then some makers out of Japan. And so to get it that you know for four hundred dollars a hand welted shoe from from Bass, a European shoemaker with a lot of history, a lot of experience, considered to be some of the the top shoemakers in the world is just unbeatable, just unbelievable. So if they had another last option that I liked, I would just buy all my shoes from them. I would do MTO ready to wear from Bass, everything, you know, so, um, you know, so hopefully maybe someday they'll, they'll venture out and, and, and put something in between those two ends of the spectrum of extremely, you know, edgy Italian and, uh, you know, and then the traditional, uh, you know, Hungarian last. So otherwise I, I couldn't be happier with these, these pair of Capto Oxfords. Um, so thanks for listening, you know, post in the comments, you know, what do you think of these shoes? And, uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.